It is nearly the end of the year, which for a lot of people means goal setting and resolutions for the upcoming year. I'm not really setting any specific goals or resolutions, but I am setting the intention to become a paid artist in 2023. It took me long enough to be able to call myself an artist, and I mean, I still struggle with the imposter syndrome. But I have looked up the definition in multiple dictionaries, and if you use your creative imagination and your skill to make something, then you are an artist. And maybe you're hung up on the word skill, but if you're putting pen to paper or brush to watercolor or what have you, you have some skill. It's definitely a scary jump to make, going from just being a hobby artist to potentially being a paid artist. It can feel like you're opening yourself up to a whole new level of criticism and judgment and disappointments. I'm trying to tell myself that it's okay to be scared. Before I was kind of waiting to not be scared before I took the leap, but I am trying to learn to do things even when I am scared because time will just keep passing and you might as well do the things you like. Now, just setting the intention to be a paid artist is fine and dandy, but I also have a bit of a game plan because action immensely helps intentions. The three streams I'll focus on are YouTube monetization, selling prints and images on Society6, and selling one-off originals on Instagram. Luckily with YouTube, I'm not starting from scratch. I have a YouTube channel, Dano Does Things, which you are aware of because you are watching this. Anyone is free to start a YouTube channel, but YouTube will only consider paying you once you've met four different criteria. You must have 1,000 subscribers. You need to have over 4,000 average watch hours in the last 12 months. You need to enable two-factor authentication and you need to have no active community guideline strikes. Two-factor authentication is easy to turn on and having no community strikes is pretty easy as well. It just means you're following YouTube's content policies and if you had any digressions or strikes, they've been resolved. The other two criteria are a little trickier. At the time of recording, I currently have 1,590 subscribers and 3,358 watch hours. I posted my first video on this channel on November 6th of 2019, so I've been posting videos almost weekly for about three years. My channel has never like blown up, so to speak, but I am super proud and super grateful for the community that I have built here. And I think I've done it through consistency and hopefully good content. I hit 1,000 subscribers in April of this year, of 2022, which means I am just waiting on my 4,000 watch hours to be able to get monetized. For average lifetime hours, I'm sitting around 5,000, and so as long as things stay fairly consistent, I should be looking at monetization somewhere in early to mid-2023. The most passive stream of income that I'm looking to utilize is Society6. Society6 is basically a site where artists can upload their artwork and Society6 will basically print it on anything. Everything is made to order, so if you upload a piece of art and someone orders it as, say, an art print, Society6 will print it, ship it, take care of all of that, and then pay you a fee for your artwork. Now that fee is adjustable, but I've set mine to 10%. I'm in the process of uploading my already completed artwork there, and I will continue to add throughout the year. Finally, I'll be selling some one-offs on my Instagram. Now, I'm not gonna be making like bulk orders, so it doesn't yet make sense for me to open an Etsy or have it on my website or something like that. But when I do have original pieces to sell, I will list them on my Instagram. I'm still trying to figure out some of the logistics, like shipping. Uh, it might end up where I'll only be able to ship smaller pieces, where larger pieces would have to be for local delivery or pickup. But all that info will be on my Instagram, at Dano Does Things. Of course, nothing comes without its challenges, and acknowledging those challenges beforehand can help you manage them in the long run. A big one for me will be burnout and time management. I already have two jobs. I work in an office nine to five, Monday to Friday, and I am a server on Friday and Saturday nights. But neither of those things are my passion and I love to create and so I want to uh, prioritize that more. It may be difficult to find balance between jobs and art and friends and family and relationships while still trying to think about my own mental and physical health, but I'm just going to try to be very aware and give myself grace and allow myself time to relax still. I'm also very lucky to have a very supportive partner who is absolutely rooting for me to succeed in art, so having those people in your corner is super helpful. 
Another challenge I've already touched on is imposter syndrome. Having confidence in your art is really hard. We're our own worst critic and we're even worse when we're comparing ourselves to the myriad of talented artists out there. I honestly don't know how to overcome this or if people actually do overcome it or they just get better at doing what they want while still feeling like an imposter, but so far I've come up with saying a few mantras. My art is good. My art is valid. My art is worth it. If you have ways to deal with this sort of like confidence and imposter syndrome, let me know in the comments. All right, I've set my intentions. I have a game plan. I acknowledge my challenges. The only thing now is to do it, which is both scary and exciting. I will be posting monthly updates here on my YouTube channel and more frequent updates over on my Instagram. So whether you think I'm going to fail or succeed, uh, subscribe so you can follow along. And if you're also looking to monetize your art in 2023 like I am, hit me up on Instagram, DM me. I would love to share some tips and tricks and just know there's someone who's in it with me. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in 2023.